check it out. Let's talk about, you know, how to invest in self. Why I always say the best investment is you. You can't lose. Why? Because it's you. It's a choice. Nobody could take that away from you. Nobody could deviate you from it. Because if you're locked in, if you're laser focused, you're in control. The only reason why a lot of people are deviating from the plan or are listening to uh, other people's advice or uh, their bad influence on you, uh, you don't want it bad enough. Uh, and most people are followers. They're not leaders, straight up. So let's change that. Be a leader. Be that example. And like I said, you know, uh, America's number one uh, problem here is their waistline and their wallet. That's the number one thing here, money and our waistline. We're eating bad because of stress, because of anxiety, because of uh, comfortness. So we create that problem. It's a big problem. It's a big epidemic going on and running rampant here, man, in America. Nobody's starving here. So now when you go on a diet that we call it, people are crying about it. They're complaining about it. You've just uh, been sitting in comfort for so long that any little slight discomfort, you want to tap, you want to give up. And the key here is that, you know what, well, you got to sacrifice. You got to feel some kind of discomfort so you could have change. So change could come into play. I don't understand where people think that they're gonna, they could uh, have their cake and eat it too. It's not gonna happen, it has never happened. That's why to acquire a result uh, physically and mentally, it's earned. You gotta put in the work daily. You have to grind daily. You gotta discipline yourself daily. You gotta, um, you know, lace, uh, you know, lace your, uh, your mind and create this, uh, vision of yourself or whatever you have to do to keep you locked in is what you got to do. And once you realize that that's the only way that's going to uh, get you to uh, get out of your own way, because if not, if you don't have nothing, no vision, no goal, nothing to strive for, nothing to go after and no reason why, then you're going to tap. You're going to give up. You're, you're going to have an excuse. You're going to have a million excuses like everybody does. They do not know what they want. They don't clarify it. Um, they just want. They're not specific on what they want. They want to lose weight. Uh, they just want to lose weight. They think that by just wanting, uh, the weight's going to fall off. Well, it's, you can't just want. You got to start doing things. You got to start moving forward and seeking knowledge on, you know, how to lose weight. You know, you got to start digging on uh, books or uh, the Internet or, or start researching how to lose weight, how to get the results that you're after. Finances as well. But the only thing that's under your control, really, that you should start investing is in you. Because, uh, you know, obviously money, when you invest in a business or you partner up with somebody, I mean, you're you're rolling the dice, you're biting your nails, you're creating more anxiety because it's out of your control. You have no control over that. There's other people that uh, play a role. You know, when you uh, roll the dice and uh, there's a lot of people that lost money. I lost money, you know, on starting businesses that didn't, you know, they didn't excel. They, you know, something happened that, you know, it didn't go as planned. So we had to close it or we had to start from scratch or uh, we didn't give up, but we lost money. So, you know, the only... The only thing that I know that, that you can lose is, is you. Because when I started investing in myself, then it was up to me. I was in control. I knew that I had a plan. I had a blueprint to adhere to. And I had to commit to it and not listen to nobody. Anybody that came and tried to give me advice or try to like talk me out of what I was doing and... Uh, talk about you know how much they know and, and just give me their opinion, it was void, I blocked it. I, I just let it go one year and out the other because there were not my coaches, there were not my mentors, so I'm not gonna deviate. I'm not gonna listen to people that don't have the results that I want, uh, they don't have the life that I want, so I'm, it's void. Whatever they're talking, it's just, I'll, I'll block it. I'll just, I'll just, I'm so laser focused and I'm so in tune with my vision 
that they could keep talking and talking and I'll just, I'll just be like, yeah, whatever, you know, just let them talk or just, you know, change the subject. Uh, if I don't want to be rude or hurt their little uh, soul, their little uh, spirit, uh, and I just keep pushing, you know, and that's what you guys got to do. Because when you invest in yourself, that the only the only way that you know you will lose is going to be by your choice, by you giving in to your comforts, by you uh, siding with people, validating yourself with people, agreeing with people that do not have your vision, that do not uh, have the same goals as you. They're just talk, trying to talk you out of it. Uh, they're trying to uh, convince you to do the opposite. They're peer pressuring you. A friend doesn't do that. When you're trying to like, you know, especially uh, on a weight loss journey, you know, you know, and they know that, you know, it's a messed up feeling to feel overweight, to not feel confident. And they still trying to talk you down. They're still trying to talk shit on what you're doing. You ain't going to last. What are you doing? You're wasting time. Why did you even hire a coach? Oh, you already, you know, you're wasting money. How are you going to waste money if you bet on yourself? How? Like, why would you even think that? And a lot of people, they're just in such a disbelief that they do think that. They think like, oh, well, the people that hop on my program, they're like, oh, well, hopefully it works. I'm like, the way you talk to yourself, like, what do you mean hopefully? No, it's going to work. There is no hopefully. There is no maybe. There is no uh, probably. The there's none of that. You got to come in knowing that, you know what? Damn, that guy, fuck, he has transformation. He has the results that I want. It's going to work. It's just up to me now. Let's, let's, we got to start reframing, rephrasing the way we speak, the way we think about ourselves. Because we create so much doubt that we give up. We tap. Because it gets, uh, you know, uncomfortable. Uh, it gets challenging. And nobody wants that. Change is difficult, but it's possible. Change is uncomfortable. It's not going to be uh, easy. It's not going to go always, you know, according to plan. There's going to be roadblocks. There's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be, you know, a uh, little bit of discomfortness with uh, hunger that we call it, supposedly. But it's just the habit that we created for so many years that... We're just used to uh, putting food in our mouth uh, in our mouth whenever you feel any type of way. Bored, you want to eat. Excited, you want to eat. You feel uh, angry, you want to eat. Because it's comfort. It calms you down. It, that's what it does. We got to be honest with ourselves. So like I said, the best investment is going to be you. So we got to Take that out of our head of like that doubt that we have or not betting on yourself or thinking that that's a waste of money. How is that a waste of money? You got you. We have it all twisted up here, man. We have it all twisted. Anything else out there that's out of your control is rolling the dice is a risky investment. Not you. Not you. Because at the end of the day, it's up to you. To handle business because a lot of people are pulling it off and they're not any different i ain't special i'm not gifted my other team members ain't special they ain't gifted we just committed we didn't question the blueprint we didn't question the coach we didn't question ourselves that's the key don't question yourself remember you are your best investment run it